Hi, I'm Dr. Patrick Anderson of Madison Maximize Living. While we all want to feed ourselves and our families better, often we don't know what to make. It takes too long and we just end up grabbing on healthy foods that are just more convenient. Because of this, we opened a new segment of our show called Healthy Speed Cooking. We're going to share with you awesome recipes that are impeccably healthy, great tasting, and quick to make. Please join co-host Stacy Hansen and myself for Healthy Speed Cooking on Maximize Living as we cook real food, real fast. And welcome back to Maximize Living with Dr. Patrick Anderson. We're doing healthy speed cooking today, and I'm so excited about this because it's so hard to cook healthily fast, I think. So you're here to yes. prove me wrong. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> but it's so important to eat real food and make it fast. So many times we're working and we may be tired. We want to eat well, and the kids, you want to feed them well. Our hearts go out to the kids and want to feed them well. But if we don't have a good system down, they're going to get the junk. And, and that just doesn't, it's not acceptable. And we're starting today, as you can probably guess, with a blender, a smoothie. Now this is a breakfast smoothie, but um, we were talking a little bit before and you said you could have it any time for a snack. Yeah, I particularly like a blender in every office like this. This is a Vitamix, they're great. And uh, having a smoothie towards the end of the day, well, if you're starting to get a little tired and you're gonna work a little longer, get a smoothie so your blood sugar doesn't drop too low and you can, you're much healthier without letting that blood sugar drop. All right, well, let's see, how do, you, yes. how do you do this? We start out with some uh, coconut water. You can also use uh, coconut milk. Okay. Or almond milk or rice milk. Um, just simply pour that in. But how that much should be enough. Do do? Depends how thirsty you are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and how many people are gonna say, can I try it? Yeah. Well, we've got two here for sure. <laughs> and then this is uh, grass fed whey protein, low temperature process, 100% grass fed cows, and it's the whey protein, which actually helps uh, eliminate waste and toxins from your body. Okay. And there's no sugars, um, sweetened with stevia. So we'll put uh, two scoops in today. Okay. And then, one of my all time favorite things, ways to sneak in something for the little munchkins at home, greens first powder. One scoop is like 10 servings of fruits and veggies. Oh, nice. So it's just and all it, kinds of Yeah, and it actually tastes veggies? good. There are some brands of uh, greens food that you wouldn't want to eat. At least I, I bought them and thrown them out because really? they're so bad. And so that's greens first. <laughs> then just to add a special kicker, chlorella is a very good detoxifying and highly nutritious a nutrient. It's actually an algae. Wow, that's a beautiful dark green. I don't know if you it, caught that there. You will have a green smoothie. That's It's beautiful. It's like it's like emerald or something. <laughs> Darker. And, <laughs> and then we add in a frozen banana. And you can add all kinds of fun things. Blueberries, of course, the goal is to have a couple of blueberries a day is a great idea. So we'll dump those in there. And I like that you're already getting a lot of your different colors because you always hear about varying your colors in fruits and vegetables for antioxidants. And here we've got the darks. You can the dark add blues, a yogurt the in there. Ooh. Adds a lot of creaminess a and bit flavor. Of red too. And then we can add a little flaxseed oil. You can use flax seeds or chia seeds or hemp seeds and really kick up the nutrition on the smoothie. And that's kind of where you get omega-3, right? The flax seed, is that, is that what we look at there? Omega-3s, omega yeah. Omega-3s, yes. So I don't need much. And then we are all set to blend that. Now make sure it's on low when you start. density by how much liquid you have so it's quite an experiment to figure out I've had it so thick it came out like ice cream and it wouldn't come out of the cup I had to eat it with a spoon <laughs> and other times it's pretty watery so it really depends. It really varies. You know, you, it looks a, a little more liquid this time. And now for the treat. Of course Maximize Living Cups. And 
Oh, am I the guinea pig or are we well, going we'll to? we'll do it together. Well, let's, let's cheers this. <laughs> Here's to your health. <laughs> Live long and prosper. Mmm, that's very good. It really, the, it? the banana and the yogurt is coming through. If, if I didn't know, I wouldn't think all the healthy stuff's in there. You could think this is almost dessert. You would. So, uh, just recommend having one of these a day. It's a great meal replacement. It's a great way to lose weight and get awesome nutrition. It's great. Well, stay with us. We have more recipes right after this. Have your questions for Dr. Pat answered on an episode of Maximize Living. Email Dr. Pat at CW57.tv. And welcome back to Maximize Living with Dr. Patrick Anderson. We're doing healthy speed cooking today, making some delicious things in just a short amount of time. Um, so we did a smoothie. Now we're going to be doing chicken with basil pesto quinoa on a bed of spinach. Doesn't that just sound amazing? You'll love it. Let's get started. We'll start with some uh, olive oil. And we'll add diced chicken to it. And we start stirring a right away. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and have at it there. Okay. <laughs> Stand back. It's splattering a little and bit. And there's here. other oils you can choose too. You don't want olive oil to get too hot. That was a little warm for olive oil. Um, yeah, we'll let it. Uh, and this is uh, this is boiling water, and we're going to add uh, one two parts water and one part quinoa. I know it sounds like you say quinoa but it's really quinoa. It's, a, it's actually a seed, but it, it functions a lot like a grain. And it's, it's one of the, it's the most high in protein grain there is. Uh, so it's just one of the most excellent complete foods. So there's gonna be a lot of protein in this by the time you add the chicken and the quinoa. Yeah. Really filling then. And what you do with the quinoa then is just let that simmer for about 15 minutes. And as that chicken's uh, yeah, it's turning there, we can add a little salt and pepper. Pretty Good quickly. job, Stacy. I do what I can. I always like to use ground pepper and for salt, I, li I like the Him Himalayan pink salt. You get more minerals. Ooh. Add a little salt to that. Hmm. And you get more minerals with that, uh, that type of salt. That would be kind of fun to try that. I've never had that. Yeah. I think my chicken's getting pretty close here. This does cook pretty quickly. How long did you say that quinoa goes this, for? This goes for 15 minutes. So really, that's probably 15 that's minutes a, that's, your dinner. 15 minutes is how long the dinner takes. And uh, it's amazingly uh, tasty when we, when we get this all put together for you. Um, what I'll do, what we do then, is you can uh, add uh, basil after the quinoa is done. Uh, basil pesto. And, or you can make your own uh, basil using pine nuts and olive oil and basil and garlic and uh, Parmesan cheese. Mm, and just food process it? And food it? process it and you make a great natural uh, pesto sauce. Because many times when we go out and buy sauces, there's too many chemicals and additives to it. So always read your labels to see what was added to it and uh, avoid those things. And it's pricey too sometimes at the store. Yeah, yeah. and it's kind of fun to do it for, for yourself from scratch. It always tastes better when you it make does. it yourself. And the kids are impressed <laughs> when you make something like this. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, the chicken uh, looks like it's Yeah, it's pretty close. Some, I mean, some of the bigger yeah. pieces are a little pink, but yeah. through the magic of television, I think we've got one pretty yes, close to done, Yes, we have eh? one that's pretty close to done. So we would add the pesto sauce in here and simply stir it up, and then you are finished. And. Um, to serve it, it's best served on a bed of rice and through the magic of television, Ta -da! we have one completely <laughs> prepared for you. Now, does not look like something you want to eat when you got home from work or at lunchtime? This is energy it, food. You're going to feel good, be well nourished. The chicken is organic chicken. Quinoa is high in protein and high in antioxidants. Spinach is one of the best things you can eat. Uh, all around, you, you don't feel tired, you don't feel stuffed after a meal like that. You just feel energized ready to finish your day. Well, so, let's get a look at that here. Um, but yeah, it looks amazing. Can I try it? Yes, ma'am. Actually, I found this recipe in, in Chicago. There's a, a restaurant called The Protein Bar, and it won the Restaurant of the Year in Chicago. They have like five mm. different uh, restaurants. That's and amazing. And this was one of their uh, recipes, and I thought, this is amazing. It is so flavorful. 
Yeah. That pesto really comes through. And the and then you've got the nice olive oil flavors and the chicken. Mm -hmm. It's great. You know something? Yeah. I mean, there's a dinner for you in 15 minutes at most, and you're not even working too hard with it when it's boiling. Well, stay with us. We have more speed cooking recipes right after the break. And welcome back to Maximize Living with Dr. Patrick Anderson. We're doing healthy speed cooking today, doing some really fast, great tasting recipes for you. So the next one is Asian turkey lettuce wraps, mm -hmm. which I can kind of smell the finished product, hint, hint, we might be eating some soon, <laughs> but it smells delicious. Start with about a half a cup of water. And then we um, get the turkey started right away. This is just this is ground turkey. Ground turkey. And Stacy, if you'd kind of mash and break it up a bit break here, it up okay, a bit. I can handle that. And uh, next, we like to add uh, ginger. This is fresh ginger, diced. You can mince it if you like. I just dice it, and it's a fair amount of ginger. You, you might, might want to be a ginger fan here if you like. You taste this, and also garlic, minced garlic, tablespoon or two, depending how much you want and how many friends you're going to see that night. <laughs> Both have really good health properties too, right? Ginger and oh, garlic. Oh, ginger is so anti-inflammatory. Garlic is anti-cancer, is anti-inflammatory. It's just, it's just, they're really good foods for you. Great. We always talk about inflam inflammation is a big problem in this country, yes. so good thing to eat. But what's next? The next thing we add is about three tablespoons of almond butter. That's a surprise for people, but it adds an, an incredible flavor to it. And of course, I know exactly how much three tablespoons <laughs> is. <laughs> That's why we call it speed times. cooking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'll just kind of spread this around, I take yes. it? Yes. Okay. And this is a third of a cup of tamari sauce. And it's organic tamari, so we put that in there. Is that a little bit like, um, I guess not soy so it's sauce. It's a soy. Is it? Yeah. And then a tablespoon of rice vinegar and of course, the speed cooking is really measured well. <laughs> is this the way you do it at home too? This is exactly the way I do it at home. <laughs> and then this is uh, sesame oil, a, a tablespoon of that. Uh, a little bit more, I like it. Okay. There we go. And while you're mashing, it's, it's really a lot of pushing and mashing it around, especially so you don't have globs of almond butter in your lettuce wrap. Is this looking about right? It looks looking really good. Now this is uh, chopped water chestnuts. It adds an incredible Ooh. crunchiness to it. And uh, love water you'll, chestnuts. you'll love that in here. Do they have so much nutrition in them or are they, are they just pretty watery? <laughs> They're <laughs> yeah. good. They're kind of chestnutty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're watery Actually, chestnuts. Actually, I don't know. It, it just tastes good. <laughs> but they crunchy. are good. They're really But good. I will look it up. <laughs> and it calls for shiitake mushrooms. I didn't have shiitake, so I'm using uh, portobello mushrooms uh, okay. sliced. But you can just take a look at that and see how mm, awesome that looks. It smells so good already, everybody. And we just uh, stir that and mash it until you feel the turkey's done. Okay, well, I got a few It'll pink a spots bit. in here, but we'll, we'll do a little TV magic, I think. Yes. So um, I haven't had anyone not like this, and it's a recipe from Maximize Living. Uh, it's um, completely natural. There's no, uh, uh, it's low, low carbohydrate. Uh, it's, it's high in protein. Uh, the flavor is uh, it's quite an Asian uh, flavor to it. So that looks like it's getting pretty yeah, close. Yeah, I think we're and pretty close. And due to the magic of television, we have this already prepared. <laughs> Ta-da! And this is exactly again. what that serves like. Looks like when we serve it. So you've got romaine lettuce leaves on that? Yeah. Artisan romaine lettuce leaves. You can do anything you want. And if you're really in a hurry, just pour it on some lettuce. Tear up some romaine and scoop this on Eat top it like of a it. Salad. Eat it like a salad. But I thought it'd be more uh, exotic to have a lettuce wrap. So, Stacy, would you? Should we you, try it? Do okay. The, do me the pleasure All right. of trying that. This looks like it could be just a touch messy. Yes. Here, this one looks like it has smaller chunks for TV. <laughs> Here, I'll embarrass myself with okay. you. Okay. Go Here we ahead. Go. Give Ready? it a shot. Mmm. Isn't that amazing? It's so good. So I can't go more than two weeks without making this. It's that good. Mm-hmm. And leftovers are awesome as well. 
Yeah, it seems like it'd be so easy to just reheat, or you could probably have it cold, too. I ate it cold. Do you? It's great cold. Amazing. Well, stay tuned. We have dessert coming up next. Have your questions for Dr. Pat answered on an episode of Maximize Living. Email Dr. Pat at CW57.TV. And welcome back to Maximize Living with Dr. Patrick Anderson. We're doing healthy speed cooking today and we've gotten all the way up to dessert. Of course, we can't go without dessert even when That's it's healthy. Right. So this is strawberry gelato. Strawberry gelato, and it's fascinating is there's only two ingredients. And then a stevia for a sweetener, if you would do the honors. All right, and two no cups dairy of strawberries. inside, I see. Okay. One and two. These are frozen strawberries. Frozen strawberries. And then uh, an avocado. If you eat an avocado a day, you're in good shape. This is one of the best high quality fats there is. I still remember going to the Mexican re or Mexican restaurant and they, they split the avocado like that. I took the knife, struck the, the core, Look at that. and it's out. And they take a spoon. Scoop it right out. Scoop it right out like that. I know it's still just fun to do. I, I used to <laughs> spend is. all kinds of time figuring out how to do that. <laughs> and then uh, stevia, or organic stevia uh, is a sweetener. We use about half a dropper full. Okay. The strawberries might be a little tart. And put the lid on. And away we go. And we have a masher for that. <laughs> and there we go. So you start off on high, is it, and then kind of work your way into low speeds typically? No. <laughs> no, you you sticking on high? Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. add a little water to that. So. Yeah, it does look a little thick. I suppose that part's an art, not a science, huh? Yeah. <laughs> that's turning into gelato. So the oh, turner, it's starting, it's to, starting to look like it. There it's funny go. how that green sort of almost disappears. Yeah. Doesn't it? The strawberry will overpower it. Yeah. This is a good way to sneak, sneak avocado into your uh, kids' <laughs> meals. Or husbands, depending yeah, on. Or husbands. <laughs> Wow, it looks like authentic so it wants gelato. To spin a little bit there. Yeah, I think we need a little more fluid. But you know what? We're gonna have some thick gelato today. Yeah, that's all right. You know, there's nothing. There's nothing wrong with that. Now, if you would do me the favors of oh, handing a dish there, there we'll spoon some in there, and let's take a look at that. If that doesn't look healthy. Mmm, it does, it does. There you go. Can I steal that spoon from you? I'm gonna give this a taste. Remember, just avocado and stra frozen strawberries mm. with a little sweetener. Mm, You're delicious. a little surprised, aren't you? Mm-hmm, and the texture. It's kind of like strawberry ice cream with perfect. no dairy. Yeah, yeah, no dairy whatsoever. So if you're lactose intolerant, this is the way to go, I think. And the avocado just gives it this perfect, smooth texture. Mm -hmm. And the flavor comes through with the strawberry, so. Completely natural. You can't overeat this stuff, really. Have as much as you want. Eat, <laughs> you make yeah. bowl. It's called a feast. <laughs> Just eat on real food. So we're making real food real fast for you today. Well, stick around. We have more on healthy eating right after this. Have your questions for Dr. Pat answered on an episode of Maximize Living. Email Dr. Pat at CW57.TV. Well, thank you for watching our Healthy Speed Cooking Show. We hope to have a number of recipes available through our show to enhance your family's health. Also, if you have a natural food recipe that is quick to make, we would love to feature you on our Healthy Speed Cooking segment. Yes, that's right. We can have you prepare your food on TV. Email your natural recipe 
to Dr. Pat at madisoncw.com. Healthy nutrition is vital, but so is a sound structure and nervous system. For a checkup, call 608-833-1282 to schedule an appointment. For Maximize Living, I'm Dr. Patrick Anderson. Until next time, live well and God bless. Have your questions for Dr. Pat answered on an episode of Maximize Living. Email Dr. Pat at CW57.tv.